Protests continued for a fourth night Wednesday in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, over yet another police killing of an unarmed black man. The former police officer who shot Dante Wright during a traffic stop now faces second degree manslaughter charges. Kim Potter is due in court for the first time today, and it feels like we're hearing stories like this all the time these days. To talk about this, we want to bring in our nine news racial equity expert, Dr. Rosemary Allen. She's also a professor at MSU Denver. Good morning, Dr. Allen. Good morning, Natasha. So once again, we see another police shooting of an unarmed black man in the news. Is there an increase overall in police shootings? Actually, yes. We have seen an increase in the number of fatal police shootings over time. For instance, this year alone, the first three months of 2021, we've seen over 200, about 213 shootings. And compare that to what we saw last year. In 2020, there were about 1,021 police shootings for the entire year. And in 2019, we saw about 999 shootings. Now keep in mind that it is believed that these numbers are vastly unreported because there's no federal mandate for police departments to report police shootings. And many departments actually fail to report. And you know, who is most at risk of being shot by police officers? You know, what we know is that men are shot more often than anyone else. Actually 95% of police shootings are of men. And then young people, half of those who are victims of police shootings are between 20 and 40 years old. And black people, they are shot at disproportionate rates. They are much more likely to be shot by police. So if you are a black male who is young, then you are much more likely than your white peers to be shot by police officers. Now keep in mind that more white people are shot, but black people, Hispanics and indigenous people are shot at disproportionate rates. You know, with so much focus now on police shootings, especially of unarmed black men and the use of body camera footage, have we seen a decrease in these racial disparities in these shootings? Natasha, we haven't. You would think so. You would think that with the media attention and the use of body cameras that these dis the disproportionate rates that um, people of color are shot would go down, but that hasn't happened. Actually, the disparities have remained unchanged for the last five years. So people of color are much more likely to be disproportionately shot and killed by police officers. And unfortunately, our latest victim was Dante Wright in Minnesota this week. Well, it really is sad. Dr. Allen, appreciate you coming on and breaking down that data. Thank you so much for having me.